All right, hey everyone, welcome to the organic week of the painting assignment. So as you know, this week we are going to paint our dragon from last week. So I hope you at least did some of the assignments because they are gonna be important for this week. Um, so what I want you to do this week, um, and before we go into that, let, let me just share a resource. Um, I think it's one of the best resources when it comes to just painting in general. It's uh, called Imaginative, Imaginative Realism by James Gurney. I'm sure you heard of it. Uh, I'm not gonna page through it. Um, there's a ton of YouTube videos that page through it actually. Um, the cool thing about this book is that, you know, James Gurney talks a lot about how he establishes, you know, his creatures and stuff like that, what kind of research he does before he goes into painting. But there's also just some amazing reference in here of his dinosaurs that he painted. And as you know, you know, dinosaurs, dragons, they lean close together. So you can definitely like steal some texturing that he has in this book when it comes to painting your dragon. All right, so great, great book for that. Uh, moving on, so what I want you guys to do in day one is you're going to first do a value painting of the manipulated simple shapes that you did in day one last week. If you remember that, where I wanted you to manipulate those contours, right? Make different contours and then a manipulated shape. So what I want you to do now is make a value study with again, a specific light source to again, identify core shadow, shadow mapping, half tones, highlights, right? Um, and even bounce light if you can muster it. So, um, that's going to be important because it's going to train how you, you know, deal with just those simple aspects of lighting on a relatively simple object, right? Not as complicated as a, um, as a full, full grown dragon. Um, and then the second assignment is going to be, you're going to pick the mannequin study that you did in day two of one of your favorite artists, right? So I said to pick an artist that you really like a dragon design that you really like and mannequinize it. So what I want you to do now is take that mannequin and again with a specific light source and you can choose from what direction because that's gonna be important. You need to be able to invent your light sources. Um, you're gonna pick a light source and then you're going to paint that in grayscale. And because you have now these simple volumes and maybe some of you have super simple volumes, some of you have a bit more you know, manipulate it volumes a bit more complex. That's going to be great. Uh, and now you're going to be able to train how that light source affects those simple volumes and how you can add volume into your designs. Because again, that's also going to be important, right? So that's going to be it for day one. Then moving into day two. All right. Thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed this clip and you want to get access to part two and part three of these assignments, make sure you head over to artwatt.com where we have a lot more of this content along with classrooms to accompany each of these assignment cycles, tutorials, a complete beginner's course for you to enjoy and get you up and running with the program. We have an amazing community on Discord where I'm very active. We do online doodle sessions. We do live classrooms that are recorded. Students can submit their assignments for feedback from our community members. Members. We have some great support teachers. So if you want to get access to all of that, make sure you visit artwatt.com and I will see you there. Bye-bye.